Listen, I hate it when summer comes. So, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, you're welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for always returning back to my channel. So, today's video, um, I'm going to try a new product that I got. Yes, I got a new product. Some of you, like, I got some new products over here. Serum is from um, Kiss Beauty. And the other one is from Senana or whatever. I can't do that. I don't know whether the name is right. So this is the second one I got. But I'm thinking I will be using one of these today. And next time I'll use the second one. I hope I'm right. Yes. And I also got this mascara. I saw a lot of people use this type of mascara. So I tried to use it and this one is also from kiss beauty they are very affordable in the market and the other one palette i got from who is that girl yes so i'm going to try this today and see how it's going to look on my skin i also bought blossom uh, spotless concealer i got two of them so i'm going to try them today yeah. and i also got this um lip serum from is it which oh, has or whatever i can't pronounce the word but this is from the brand it's very nice from the first time i use it i was like what mm. i love the scent yeah, so mm. Highly moisturizing, okay. So yeah. Let's into the video. So guys, I have to jump over voice over because the area is full of moist. Yes, guys. So um, first of all, I was just priming my lid with the Blossom Spotless Concealer. And guys, you have to blend it well to avoid creases. You have to blend, blend so that your eyeshadow can sit well on it. So yeah. And after that i went in with my um powder palette i used the brown shade to create an effect in the crease region so um you guys know when it comes to eyeshadow i don't see much i will just have to leave you guys to watch how i created it so i will be back After I finished with the crease, um, I went into the full face gorgeous me eyeshadow palette and I used the orange um, shade. I don't know whether it's orange. Yeah, I used the orange shade at the outer or the end of the crease to create an effect over there. And later we and later went in with a lighter uh, shade. Uh, the inner corner and you have to blend the colors together so that they can marry each other so after i finished blending i went in with the deep brown at the outer uh, corner of my eyelid just to let the brown pop well so yeah i was just um applying the brown there and 
I have to blend, blend, blend until I am satisfied with um, what I was looking for. After that, I went in with the Kiss Beauty Mascara. So after I finished applying the mascara, I went in with the Kiss Beauty black pencil to line my waterline. So I went in with the Blossom Micellar Cleansing Water to clean my face to remove any fallout on my face. After cleaning up my face, I went in with my serum and I blend my serum into, or I massage it into my skin and waited for a moment. So one thing I noticed about this serum is um, it looked tacky on the skin. After you finish applying it, it looked tacky. Yeah, that is what I noticed about it. And it's very smooth on the skin as well so after i finished with my serum i went in with scent eyes moisturizer yes that is the only moisturizer i do use so after the moisturizer i went in with the zikel primer to prime my face and um i do avoid the under eye and i also went in with the adventure oil control primer and this particular primer i just apply it at where i normally um produce oil most and um after i finished with the adventure oil control primer i went in with the Bicham ageless foundation I mix it with the Maybelline Super Stay Foundation. The reason why I miss it is that um, the, uh, the Bicham Ageless Concealer is lighter than my skin and the Maybelline Super Stay Foundation is also darker than my skin. So that is why I miss them to get um, this shade. After I finished blending my foundation, I went in with the Blossom Spotless Concealer at the inner corner of my eye and I used the darker shade to contour my cheek. After I finished blending my contour, I went in with the Blossom um, Proof concealer at the outer corner the reason why i use this is that um these have like uh, one shade lighter than me so that is why i use it there i use it on my uh cupid bone i use it on the bridge of my nose my forehead and um that is all so after that i apply the my cheek lipstick as my blush on my cheek and blend 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 So after I finished blending, I went in with the Adventure Setting Powder and Natural Light to set my concealers.
so after i finished um setting my concealers i went in with the um powder palette from who is that girl and i used the exact color of mine to set the whole face blend everything together and uh, after that i went in with a smaller brush to take off the excess powder under my eye and also contour my face with it After I finished blending everything together, I went in with my uh, Adventure Setting Spray to set my face and later went in with the David Pencil to line my lip and um, I went in with my Cheek Lipstick Palette as uh, my lipstick and then I blend everything together. So I went into the eyeshadow palette and I used the highlighter inside. Um, and guys, I love the highlighter inside that palette. Seriously. Um, it gives some kind of natural glow on the skin. That is what I feel personally. I love it. So to finish everything up, I went in with the Advanced Setting Spray to set the face. And this Advanced Setting Spray, it gives you that matte finish look. And I later went into my mascara as my last tapes. And guys, the look is given. I really, really love this look. So this is the finished look and this is how the look turned out. Guys, I really love the look. Seriously. I really love this look. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial. If it does, give me the thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. Okay. The girl is back with anger. Okay. So yeah, see you in my next video. Oh,